Hello everybody, it's Life Coach Kazoe with Kazoe for Africa and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to cover this very exciting topic. How can you get a green card? Let's talk about six ways that you can try. And if you're interested in this information, stay the tuned. The first way that you can get a green card to work in the United States is to become a nurse. A lot of you don't know this, but the healthcare system in the United States is such that uh, we do have a lot of baby boomers that need to be taken care of. And so we have different kinds of um, health areas, which include uh, caring for the aged people in nursing homes, where the people are just older and need to be able to be taken care of because their parents um, and you know their children are unable to provide for them but you also have nurses within the healthcare system to uh, be able to take care of ill patients but that is one area folks where you can actually get a green card it is one of the most lucrative majors and lucrative areas and so definitely take a look at the link below if you're interested in looking at that profession the second area for you to be able to get a green card as an international student is to be able to enlist in the US Army and you know for many international students they do have a passion for this country you have studied in this country for a long time you have a love for it and you're willing to actually be able to fight for it and so definitely take a look at uh, enlisting within the army and what typically happens is there's a process in which you would go to be able to be enlisted and after your uh, enlistment time is over you will actually be able to uh, get your green card and so if you're interested in and more information about that take a look at the link below and I have a link for that process. The third area for you to be able to take a look at and be able to get a green card is actually to be able to seek asylum in the United States. You know it's very interesting because um, if you're coming from a third world country where you have undergone uh, some kind of abuse or the political structure is literally unstable, one of the wonderful things about the United States being an immigrant nation is that you can actually file for asylum. And what I have done is I've provided for you the link below because if you do come from one of those countries where you feel that there are disturbances that have personally affected you and your family has struggled really hard to be able to bring you here so that you can have a better life, seek asylum link below. The fourth area that you can explore as you look at getting your green card is to be able to file for what we call the refugee status. And so again, similar to asylum, but a little bit different because refugees are coming from countries where it is war and it is a very, very tragic situation. It is of no uh, will you know, that they want to come to the United States. They just have to get away so that they can be able to have some sense of life and so if you are in a country and you happen to maybe watch this video or you know someone who could really uh, value from the refugee status, definitely take a look, look at the link below and apply for that particular The situation. fifth way for you to be able to get a green card in the United States is to be able to pursue a job. Now, uh, you will see in the series of videos that I have been doing in this channel, it is actually called the H-1B visa season. The H-1B is the work visa that is offered in the United States. It is self-explanatory. Some people get the H-1B through the visa lottery, and there are opportunities through that regard, but there are also opportunities for you to get a green card through a job when you pursue jobs uh, through the non-lottery process. And so I do have some very helpful videos that will be able to provide you more information about this option that you can pursue for your green card. And finally, the sixth way for you to be able to get a green card in the United States is through the coveted DVR lottery. Why are you sitting there and not applying every year for the DVR lottery? Please take a look at the link below. You should always apply every year on the DVR. If you're in the United States, apply for the DVR lottery. There are 50,000, 50,000 visas every year through the DVR lottery for the green card. So those of you that have filed for H-1B and are waiting to start October 1, but to get your decision in May, you don't know if you're gonna get approved, apply for the DVR lottery. Those of you who are sitting in F-1 visa as a student, B2J, it doesn't matter. Those of you watching me in this video from um, your particular home country, the DVR lottery process, take a look at the link below. 50,000 opportunities through this option. 
you cannot afford to miss And last it. but not least, I'll throw a little caveat there because a lot of you know that if you get married to a U.S. citizen, you will be able to also get your green card. But everybody knows about that. So if that option actually uh, qualifies for you and your particular experience, feel free to explore that option. And so folks, remember if you subscribe to my channel, I will be able to provide for you a list of schools that offer scholarships for undergraduate students, for master's degree students, and if you're pursuing your PhD. So please remember to subscribe to my channel for more information. What's new in my channel is actually to my right, you'll be able to see an emoji where you can click and be able to subscribe to my channel. And to my left, you'll actually be able to see a suggestion that I provide for you in terms of a video that you should watch after this video. So please take a look at these videos here. I think it will be good for you to get connected with the H1B videos if you're exploring through work. So definitely take a look at that. So thank you for watching everybody and remember life is full of opportunities and education is the key to your success. Until my next video, bye everybody.